Hello friends, welcome to Learn World. In previous lecture, we have learned about the string data type in Ruby. And today, we will learn about object oriented Ruby introduction. Object oriented Ruby. Ruby is pure object oriented programming language. So, here in Ruby, everything is object. If you are creating some variable, you are creating some objects that all belongs to some class because they are actually the object as Ruby is an object oriented language it has some technical terms such as class, objects, methods etc. So now we will see each of them in some details like how to create class, how to create our own custom definitions, how to create methods, how to inherit some classes into another class and how to create objects. Ruby classes. To create a class in Ruby, we need to write one keyword that is class. So any Ruby class that starts with a keyword class followed by the class name and class terminated with the keyword end. For example, if I want to create one user class, here in a screen you can see I have create one user class. So I had added one class that is a keyword and my class name that is user and the class terminated with a word end. In between the start and end we can create our custom methods, we can create our variables and we can use our logic to perform particular operations. One thing that we need to keep in mind is the class name must start with an uppercase letter. For example, if I am creating one class named as a learn one, then the first letter of my class that is L will be in capitalized form. In next lecture, we will learn about class and objects in object oriented Ruby.